It's 9am. It's a bit chilly this morning. This is the first snow of 2016. It started about 7.30 this morning and at the moment it's just 9 o'clock. It's a bit blowy but not really awful. So we're going to go and have a look and check the critters and let the birds out. Temperature is just above zero, marginally above zero. AccuWeather says with the wind chill it's minus five. It is quite chilly, no question about that. So we let the hounds out and they're gonna go and bark at the they're gonna go and bark at the goats and bark at the rubbish lorry. And then we'll go and have a look down at the critters. So there's the freezer pigs paying attention as always. They'll be starving in a minute. They'll be squiddying like crazy wanting something to eat. No sign of the goats, they're in their house. Pretty certain they're in there, there they are, just in their house. It's my first time with goats, so I'm guessing they really don't like chilly willy weather. They've got plenty of scoff, plenty of food, plenty of shelter, so they'll be fine. There's my favourite mum of the moment. She's hungry this morning. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. Where's your children? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna come in and see them in a minute. There's Pop, who's got about five days to go before she gives birth. She's got a lovely nest, which is clearly protecting her against the snow. There's the freezer pigs being grumpy. They're always grumpy. Here's my boy, Jack. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello. Yep. I know. Yep, I know, you just want to cuddle. Okay, but we'll deal with that. There's Goosey, Goosey, Goosey. There's Brian with his girls. They don't seem too, too stressed. Let's go and let the other birds out. Come on then. Come on then. Out you go. Come on. Out, out, out. Come on. Out, out, out. Go and discover what's out in the big wide world today. I have no idea whether you've experienced snow or not. But you're full on. Hello, Chooks. Right, pig food time. <coughs> oh, look, there's the new, there's the new underloft that we finished yesterday. Okay, so. I'm going to feed my 
I'm going to feed my sow first, or my two sows, and give them a little nibble for the morning. And then we'll come back and we'll do the freezer pigs. The freezer pigs are on corn mainly. Corn and vegetables. But the freezer pig, but the feeding sow and her piglets are on pig food. and corn and night times they have yogurt and stuff like that to give them something a bit more interesting to eat the view's not that good around here at the moment okay If you can hear the noise in the background, that's because everybody knows that I'm down at the food bins. And the freezer pigs. No idea what, oh there it is. And they're really only getting breakfast because it's a little bit chilly. Okay, so one hand, two pigs, and then we'll come back and we'll do the freezer pigs. Let's put this out for mums. Right, 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 right. There's Brian, there's Brian in the pond. He loves getting in the water, he really loves getting in the water. They are just such beautiful birds. They've been out all night. They were sleeping in the forest last night. And here's Pop. She's ready to have her baby in five or six days time. And there she is, full on. Let's go and do Black Betty. There she is, there's my girl. There's my mum. There's Max making a noise, all the dogs making a noise up there. Because the goats want to play with them. Hello Childers. There they all are. All nice and toasty. Yep, all right, here we go. Okay, there's Black Betty's breakfast. And you can see our little childers are all dead keen on the solid food. Lovely and healthy. Lovely nest out here in the back. And there you can just get an insight into Pop's nest. Pop, who's ready to have her litter, 
in four or five days time. She's made a fantastic nest in there. So they're all happy. So that's good. Max, be quiet. Right, let's go back and get the freezer pig's food. Freezer pigs, they're up for slaughter in the next two weeks. Good pigs though. Same, same family as Black Betty and Pop. They're all four sisters. So they're quite happy. Just need to go and give them Give them an extra dose of corn. It's chilly willy. And then we'll give Max, then we we'll give Jack some breakfast. Come on girls. Come on, pig pig. Pig pig pig. Pig, pig, pig. That'll warm them up and keep them quiet for a little bit. Nice pigs. The big one on the right, she's around about 180 kilos right now. 15 months old. We should get some nice meat from those two. Let's go and do jacks. Oh. Poor Jack, living the solitary life of the bachelor. He could live with the girls. He could go in with the pregnant sows if we were prepared for that. But we can't really take the risk because we don't know how he'll respond to the piglets and he definitely seems like his hormones are well up for Pop who is due to have her litter soon he's paying her a lot of attention Crossing at the mouth, cluck, cluck, clucking around all the time. But he's a lovely pig. He's definitely one of my favourites in the yard. He's a good boy. Handsome and fit. Comes to the call. Now you can hear that everything's silent because everybody is scoffing food. Everybody is scoffing. The chickens have gone back in their coop for some reason, probably because of the cold. Yep. Yeah, the chickens have gone back in their coop. That makes sense to me. Girls have been laying a few eggs during the week, but not every day. And there's our cockerel doing his thing. Just being a boy and showing off. Okay, that's, that's morning chores. That's seeing everybody, making sure they're all alright. Ducks are having a quick mouthwash. Beautiful ducks they are. 
Albert, Doris and Delilah. He's a very handsome boy. Albert's a very handsome boy. 